Patrick did another DJ Brew 2 beer review. Well, it's one of my favorite times of year. You see big orange can and box in front of you and said glass with a logo that may be familiar to you. That's right, it's Nugget Nectar time. That's right, February is almost upon us at time of recording this video. That means the Nugget Nectar's hitting the shelves and you know I'm getting out and buying it. This is one of the few beers that I buy again every year as a seasonal or even a beer that I repeat by because I drink so many different beers it's hard to repeat by beers even if I like them. But anyways, Nugget Nectar, it's got a special place in my heart and my beer palate, so I buy it every year. And this year, I was actually considering maybe not reviewing it. I was going to buy it, but not review it. But it's out in cans now, pounder cans to boot, so you know I got to review this beer. Now, if you don't know, Trove Brewing Company is out of Hershey, Pennsylvania, US of A. Yay, yay. And their Nugget Nectar is an Imperial Amber Ale, as they call it. It's more like a DIPA. Clocks in at 7.5% ABV and 93-ish IBUs. And it's available from February to like March, somewhere around there. Now, I've geeked out every time I've reviewed this beer, and I just it's I just really dig it. Now, malt-wise in this beer, it's got Pilsner, Vienna, and Munich malt in it. Now, for hops, I've always known it's had Nugget, Warrior, and Tomahawk, but now I read on their website they're saying there's Simcoe and Palisade in there, too. Who knew? I didn't know it was in there before. Maybe it's an addition to the beer this year, and I'll find something different, but who knows? Let's get this can cracked open that was just brewed not too long ago. This can is 12 days old at time of recording. That's right, super fresh Nugget Nectar. Gotta freaking like that. Oh, let's see. Ah, oh, no opener required. Let's get in my lovely nectar pint, nugget nectar pint glass this year, because I got a pounder. I can pour it deep. That's right. And I got this glass at the brewery. Their brewery in Hershey is a really nice brewery. If you ever think about visiting a brewery, oh, Trogues, yeah, I cheated and tasted a little. Trogues is one that you want to visit. So let's get an appearance on the spear. As gorgeous as always, lovely orange amber color. Tons of active bubbles coming up from the bottom. Solid two-finger head, mega-packed puck of bubbles up at the top when I swirl it. Yeah, we're going to get some glass lacing on this. And I can see, like, wavy-looking alcohol legs coming down on this one. But look at that, guys. Nugget Nectar doesn't display in any other glass. You can talk about your tulip. You can talk about your snifter or whatever. But I just like this beer in this Nugget Nectar pint glass. And I'm drinking it, so I guess that's all that matters, isn't it? So, let's get an aroma on Nugget Nectar. Oh yeah, big orange up in your freaking grill, like always, orange citrus zest, then you get a bit of sweet malt, it's a balanced aroma, no alcohol in there at all, a little bit of pine, a little bit of herbal, like sort of herbaceous sort of hops in there, a bit of grassiness, but the star is orange, all day orange, up in your grill orange, maybe mixed with a little bit of like grapefruit also, and some tropical fruit, delicious, delicious smelling beer. <sighs> Time to dive in. First Nugget Nectar of 2015, guys. Cheers. Mmm. Yeah. Look at that instant glass lacing like I thought. Delicious as ever, guys. Up in your face, orange. Citrus zest. Like, a bit of lemon, maybe. Orange. Grapefruit aftertaste. Sugared grapefruit, kind of like when you scoop it out when you eat a sugared grapefruit. I suspect that's coming from the Simcoe, but man, it, this is all about orange and citrus, a bit of peach in there, maybe a little mango kind of going on, a little bit of grassiness, but then all, after all of that, the balance comes in from the malt that's there. It's not too bitter. It's not too sweet. It's an even-keeled beer. Super easy to drain this 7.5% pounder. No problem at all. <laughs> goes down super easy. The carbonation spot on. Got a nice medium full mouth feel. What more could you want in a DIPA? This is why I buy this beer every year. It's solid. It's continuously good. And each and every year when I drink it, I enjoy it. And I, my beer memory tells me I'm liking it just as much. And there's very few beers that I can say that about. And there's very, that's why this is one of the few that I rebuy. This, maybe Black Chocolate Stout. Um... Oh, let's see, I retrade for Chill Wave, you know, that kind of stuff. Abrasive when I can get it, Heady Top, beers like that, you know, that you, you go for. But anyways, we got a great beer like this, and stop flapping my gums, because you've heard enough probably by now. Right Beer gives this beer a straight up 100, boom, A+. Beer Advocate gives it a straight up 98, A+, boom. 
I'm still going to stick with my grade. I've given this an A plus every year. I can't find any holes or negatives about this beer. It's got big flavor. It's got balance in there. This isn't a West Coast style IPA. It's an East Coast beer. It's beer in Hers brewed in Hershey, Pennsylvania. It, of course, it's not a West Coast beer. And it's true to like the style that kind of, of DIPAs that grew up around here in the early 2000s. But I dig this beer. If you can find it, get it in a can. It's awesome. Let me taste it here out of the can and see if it tastes any different. I think I prefer this beer out of the glass a little bit better. It opens up more and more of that sweet orange zest comes out to it, but it's just as good out of the can too. I don't think I'd ever drink that beer out of the, out of the can because I like looking at it in the glass too. But So anyway guys, enough of my chit chat. You got other things to do. And it's something really important that you can do. One of those other things is thinking globally, drinking locally, and supporting the craft beer movement. Also, what is really freaking awesome is when you rate, comment, subscribe, and hit that like button. Because that, along with a four-pack plus of Trogues Nugget Nectar, puts my happy face on. So, to the next DJ's Brew Tube, thanks a to each and every one of you guys for watching. <sighs> Until then, I got nothing but a big-ass bunch of Nugget Nectar drinking love for you. And you know what's coming. That's right. Are you ready? A big, a pizza.